Last, last time on the Bean Burrito Bureau, Cory and Nick fought through the deep jungle alongside Tarzan. Tarzan, you Jane. Thank you. Come here. <laughs> but were stopped by Sabor the Leopard when they were unable to defeat his furious claws. Oh, oh man. He's like fireballs. <laughs> Let me just jump through them. Fire. Oh, Off camera, sure. Nick power leveled nice them so that they could defeat the evil minutes. leopard. I feel like we've almost grown grown in such strength and power from like, I don't know, like eight levels from level twelve to level twenty. It's just a feeling I have. <laughs> and for some reason, Donald's gone. But despair overtook them oh, as no. they discovered oh, they no. did not record yeah, the, video the video after no. defeating Deep Jungle and Nick. Wonder. No! <laughs> We're retarded. <laughs> we spent two hours <laughs> and we never looked. No, I didn't. I don't know what that does. Oh my god. Taking a vacation to still water to recover. Little did they know they were watched by a malevolent force the entire time. Now they return to stop this malevolent force from reaching out any further. Find out what happens on this episode of The Bean Burrito Bureau plays Kingdom Hearts 1. Hello? Test? All right, hello. Testing what took it's you. It's been a very long time. <laughs> it's been. It's been <coughs> several <six> months. months. <laughs> All right. Squeenix. Squeak. Squeak. Squire. Hey, Linux. We got to go to the one, two, threes. Yeah, we gotta. We gotta do. Okay, we'll have an opportunity here. One. All right. One point five. Two point five. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yay! All right, can work on them. Yes. You want to start? Or you want me to? Uh, y hmm. You can. <laughs> I don't remember how to play. Yeah. I don't remember where we're at. I don't remember where we're at either. To we be honest, we skipped. We skipped a couple levels. So, um, <laughs> contextually, we were we were pretty set to go going into quarantine to have a lot of episodes still going. And, and we're like, finished up the recording, and we're like, yes, great, we're ready to go, we got a lot of stuff, and then we look and we see we never hit the record button. <laughs> so we have all the audio, but none of the video. Yeah, we, we got pretty far, we played for yeah, like we an went. hour or two. Yeah. We have, uh, I don't remember where we were at last time, but it wasn't somewhere... <clears throat> yeah, we're level 24 now, Donald's 21 because he's terrible. I think we did the, what's the level, the... We did... The Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, we did Alice in Wonderland in its entirety. We did Deep Jungle. We finished Deep Jungle. We haven't finished Olympus Coliseum, but I believe that's because we just turned around and left as soon as they were like, let's go fight the the thing, right? We can beat the... What were we doing anyways? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what to do next in this game at this point, to be completely honest. Um... Magic. Okay, so we have fire. We have fun there with cure. Gosh, it's been a while. Oh god, I don't remember much. <laughs> Sora, Sora. I feel like I just woke up after several months of taking a nap. You corrupted my data. <laughs> Donald is just wireframe. <laughs> Donald has become one with the grid. <laughs> is this the green wireframe model? Yeah, you know, like the, uh, the guys from Melee? Yeah. Sora, if you beat, a uh, Brutal Melee, when kill 30 characters, you can unlock Donald to play as. But he's still in his weird wireframe form. We haven't figured out to uncorrupt his data yet. <laughs> Tails is in the game. <laughs> Tails is in the game. Tails and Sonic. And Shadow. You have to play the game on a Sega Dreamcast first to unlock Sonic. Don't ask me how I know this. <laughs> it's because I am I am Masahiro Sakurai, whatever that guy's name is. <laughs> Ma Master <laughs> Master Xehanort. Master Zero Butter Guy. <laughs> you know the thing that kills me about it too, about that dumb joke we just made, is the fact that like Goofy's trying to claim that he's, he's so-and-so, but he doesn't even know what the guy's name is. <laughs> <laughs> I am he. What do you mean I don't know what it, what my own name is? My name is... Sekiro. Yeah. 
the Nomad <laughs> Soul. <laughs> that video game no one really played. Oh, shit, I, had a couple friends that, dead. I had a couple friends that really enjoyed, like, the, uh, the Dark Souls, Souls-like games, but they didn't play Sekiro because it didn't have character customization in it. Oh, uh, that was the whole point of not yeah. playing it. Yeah. I like the Dark Souls games, I just never played it because, I don't know, I, just I never got around to it. Okay, I'm a little... Alright, so we're going to do a little story time for me. So I have a little bit of a bias against Dark Souls. I think it's overrated, right? Like, everyone says it's super hard. It's, like, one of the hardest games ever. But, like, a lot of the difficulty in the game is, like, fake difficulty. Like, people hiding behind corners where you can't see them. So it's meant to be, like, trial and error. Yeah, it's just memorizing the path to get places. Yeah. And then, so, like, when you have when you play multiplayer with somebody, right, who knows what they're doing, like, you don't really have that much of a challenge. And I understand, like, that's probably... People are going to say, like, that's not the intended way. Like, you mm -hmm. can play it single player and you won't get that problem. But I don't like playing Dark Souls alone. I don't find it fun to uh, do that. You know what I mean? I like playing alone. I just like running around and exploring stuff. But no, anyways, um, so I think Dark Souls is a little bit overrated in terms of difficulty. Because I've played other hard games, right? And I've played much harder games by the company that makes Dark Souls. <laughs> Specifically, uh, From Software made uh, Armored Core. It's a really sick... Uh, Mecha video game series. They made like twelve I plus. Those. I've seen them though. Yeah, they're sick. They made like twelve plus of them, and then like Dark Souls came out, and everyone was like, "Oh my god, I love Dark Souls because it's hard." And it's Remind like, you. I think it's, we are. Yeah, I think we got it from here. It's the Dark Souls of Armored Core. Yeah, the yeah, Dark Souls of Armored Core. It's the Armored Core of Dark Souls. Well, the thing that kills me about it is like. Everyone, like, so falls in love with Dark Souls, but now Armor Core has gone to the wayside because everyone's like, Dark Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls. Yeah, they when, just make what they know they'll make money off of. Yeah. When, you know, if you play Armor Core, it's just as hard, if not harder, at times than Dark Souls because, like, I can, I can remember very distinctly a mission I can never beat, even to this day, in Last Raven. They're like, here, defend this dam, and the dam's like this really small like thing because you're a giant robot and you're in this really confined like narrow valley defending it and they just keep coming and they don't stop coming and you start coming in yeah yeah no, I, I said it like that as, as literally the main joke figured, yeah. but no straight up like it like never ends it's like a horde mode and it's it's god awful because in those games at least you were at the time frame when you had um you know uh dual stick controls for the mecha, it used to be you had to use the shoulder buttons to aim, which was really bad in the early PS1 era. But, um, the problem with it still is the fact that, regardless, you still have, um, your turn radius and your turn speed for your mecha as a stat in-game that's affected by the parts you choose. So you know how, like, you have your, uh, sensitivity for, like, the camera, like, when I spin it back and forth like this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a stat, so you have to put your actual points in, in parts into getting that stat up if you want to have a reliable turn radius. Damn it, I put all my stats into the y-axis and not yeah. the... <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. It's really terrible just because it sucks to deal with. But, you know, it's a fun game. We should play it. Yeah, I would love to play Armor Core. Alright, turn this off. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay, so I don't actually know how it'll go down from here, but I think I know where we gotta go. His big ass head. Sora. Sora, my head is very large. You wanna call me when you figure this out? Let <laughs> me just take a vacation. <laughs> I got better things to be doing. <laughs> you see, I think the the reason why we gravitate towards Goofy so much is Donald. <laughs> His voice is easy. <laughs> we can to do, do the Goofy voice easier than we can do the Donald yeah. voice, even though they're both objectively really funny. Uh, Donald's too hard and you get a sore throat. Yeah. You can do it once, you're just like, eh! Yeah, it's just a screech. It's like, <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> but you can't, like, make form words. Alright, I for forgot we got this little exit now. Ooh, a leeway. A leeway. Is this where Aliden is? Aliden? <laughs> I guess not. No, he's in Agribi. <laughs> not a greepy. A greepy. He's a very greepy. Come on. Disney character. <laughs> Stand on Goofy's shoulder. Yeah. 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 Woo! Ugh. Play Sonic Victory music. Or <laughs> 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 play the Tony Hawk Victory music. Did he have that? Yeah, when he gets a VHS. <laughs> play every 
Man, uh, if, I, man if I was smarter, I'd figure out a way to do the uh, the Tony Hawk HUD. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm not intelligent enough to do that yet. I wanted to do that when we did the, uh, the previous episode. When we did the Tony Hawk joke when we were doing the Tarzan shit. Yeah, that'd be hard to do. Oh shit, what are these tall people doing? You like the keyholes. What? What were you Leon. swinging on? Oh, this is what we had to do. We had to talk to him. Mm -hmm. Ask Sedge, he should know. Okay. Wait. Earthshine. Shit. So we have literally the worst item in the game now. No. So we have access to... What does that do? Uh, it's a summon item. Ooh. So as we go through the game, we'll collect summons of characters that we can pull out to use, right? Yay. But that is uh, specifically Simba. Oh no. Simba's garbage. Simba. Simba's actually trash. Wipe. Oh no, not practice magic. <laughs> wipe a booger on Simba's forehead. <laughs> like, Gross. The, like in the movie when the monkey does it. The monkey does that? And they'll cheer. That's not a booger. <laughs> uh oh. So it was a bloody booger. <laughs> <laughs> he like shoved a knife up his nose and he's like, now you are blessed with my, the blood of my blood, my son. <laughs> Chucks him off the top of the mountain. <laughs> I love the edits somebody did of that one. <laughs> like, if he keeps the fucking yeets him. <laughs> oh my Bye, god. Bye, Simba. Goodbye. Everything you touch is mine. <laughs> I'm goofy. Get a different said, shield. I think we bought it for him, didn't we? I don't recall. Oh, you're kidding me. You gotta be. <laughs> this can't be the right people. You're joking me. You yeah. gotta be. Please. God, I can't wait for later. I'll install it for you. <laughs> Just a book. Take a look. It's in my book. The reading book. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, the Gizmo shop is ringing. Huh? Take it out if you want, but deliver that book for me first. The bell. The bell is ringing. You gotta do a stupid fetch quest. Ugh. Yay. No, oh, you're the first district. The very first one. The very district. No. <laughs> <laughs> you ever watch uh, Internet Historian? I think he sent me a couple of his videos. He, does a really, he did a really good documentary video on uh, uh, fur. Or uh, Rain Furris, that one furry con. Un con. Oh. <laughs> it's really funny. Wasn't that one that went terribly bad? Yeah, where they like, were fucking throwing diapers on cars and shit. <laughs> I don't have any problems with furries, just gonna get that out there, but like, that was just a fucking travesty. Just the diaper throwers? Yeah. I have a problem with people who f throw filled diapers at <laughs> <in> cars. <laughs> that is not cool. That's no good. Wait, where do we go now? We gotta go back and give it to Merlin. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, that book. Here, I have a book. It's a book. It's a pretty good one. Don't. What do we have to do? Put it on his desk board? Hi. You know what this is? Oh, it's a summon oh. gem. Summon gem? My ice oh, you know what it is? A summon gem <laughs> to make him kill, kill things for you. Is that what? What? I don't know. I don't know. What? Bibby Bobby Boo. Yeah, Simba. Simba. Wow. Can't even think of something that everyone's knocked out. <laughs> Alright, Grandma. Yeah, this is better that you played this part. <laughs> so, with Simba, when you use a summon, you run out of all of your magic. Hmm. You, uh... <gasps> you run out of all your magic, you lose all of your party members that are currently with you, and it's just you with the summon. Now, the trade-off is that most of the summons are really strong. I say most, because Simba's garbage. Is that why he's the first one? Yeah. The best one by far is Bambi, because Bambi just continually generates magic back for you. Ooh. So you can just turn into a, a f fucking spellgaster supreme. It's like fighting as Doctor Strange. <laughs> Remember Bambi was in that movie? 